This is my fourth take. I'm done. Let's get into it. I'm doing map making on a game that no one knows except for my friends, and they want and one of them wanted me to do it. He needs help. Let's go. This one's for you, buddy boy. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I do is I delete everything on the map, uh, which was like all here, but you already know that. So then uh, I take my start point and I put it in the middle of the map because that's how I like to start. Uh, I find a starting side. You can start here, 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 or here, um, or here. I don't recommend you start anywhere else because if you start anywhere else, you're gonna uh, screw it up. But you should already know that. If you don't, well, get some help. Um, so we're gonna start right, right about here, here. Um, but yeah, you can also start directly in the middle and then move around. I usually just build a section, so we're gonna build a section real quick. So he, you're okay. So what we're gonna do is. We're going to put down the platform. My friends are talking in the background. KMS. Um, so we have this in the background right here. Not in the background. We have this tile thing right here. I just put this down randomly now. When I see this dash uh, of tile, I want to expand on it, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slope somewhere. Let's put one right here. And see the, the ideas are already coming to me. So I'm going through, and I'm just creating anything, really. Uh, so this is the first step is you just create something or another it can, it can be complete shit we'll do this um, like that easy boom that's your first step uh, now I got a thing and now that I have a thing I can make a something uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a ceiling here uh, and along here Um, so, now that the ceiling is here, and by the way, guys, not guys, one guy who's going to watch this, uh, two guys, actually, because Derp's going to be here, there'll be a follow-up to this, uh, Derp's here live, so he'll hear this, I'm going to explain in depth the map-making bible while making the sections within a map, so... When you're hyped for that, get hyped, you know, Le put some comments, put some comments in the comment sections so that I don't feel lonely. <laughs> one like equals one dollar free giveaway to all viewers. <laughs> I will prostitute for likes. What's up, Jake? I said, oh God. <laughs> Jake's into it. Um, so, um, that looks like a fucking huge ass tit. What? <laughs> Sorry, a huge battery. Um, so now I have this. Where do I go from here? Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna put a ceiling slope down. Who the bitch joined? Oh, Jacob. <laughs> so here we are, putting this across here. So now we have a downward slope. Now, I'm going to just go through this section real quick, because I feel like you're lost. So, here's my thought process. And this is without speed right now. I don't have my controller connected. Let's use keyboard then. Um, when I'm going through here, right, with no speed, I'm not going to do much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to grapple. That's all I really have there. But when I do have speed, now a good way to get speed is to put a speed getter right here, which is uh, just grapples. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is just grapples, really. Um, but we call it speed getter, because he, down here in the ghetto, we don't really understand language. So, yeah, that's how things work. So now, this is too tight. I mean, too loose. I mean... <laughs> this is too wide. <laughs> is what I meant to say. Too Not too loose. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this. We're going to go get some speed. <laughs> Our speed getter. <laughs> 
And now we see the problems. We see the problem right here. This one needs to be down more. Because it's going to be awkward to hit that. So you put it down more. Boom. Now uh, that that's there, we're going to fill this in. Uh, so you just align that. Man, playing at 30 FPS is a lot different than playing at 300. Um... <laughs> you don't get why I'm laughing. Plastic, but it's really fucking funny. <laughs> okay. So now I have this section, right? So I'm trying again. We'll go back to our speed getter. <laughs> We're gonna get the speed. We're gonna hit that slope. There we go. So that's good. We'll try that again. Um, oh shit. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna go down this time. I fucked up. Um, but yes, you get, you get the idea uh, with this section. We're gonna go on our speed getter. Go downwards. There, you see that? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful strat. That's a beautiful combination right there. So now that we know that at full speed, you're going to get some good strats. Okay. Next step. Um, next step would be a turn. We don't want to go in one direction the entire time. We're, um, so we're going to be like, we're going to be, uh, like dirt and we're going to swing all the ways. Um, <laughs> um, because that's the healthiest way to live, being all the gays. Jake is muted and so is Derp, that's healthy. So we're gonna be all the gays, and like Derp, and let's go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a nice little turn right here. Now, you may be saying plastic, but what about section two? We'll refer to that the at the end, okay? Okay. Um, so, right here, I don't like this little sticky thingy outy because it's gonna make the turn awkward. Uh, and I don't feel like expanding this hallway. Uh, oh, he's gonna just why? Okay. Um, and so this section to me still feels too tight because this slope is not gonna match, match up with the slope. So what I can do is I can do that. Okay. And now the section is a little bit smaller. We're gonna go for a turn. Now there are a lot of turns you can do. I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate some of the turns. So a quick turn you can do is a library grapple turn, which is like a huge scale version of this, uh, like that, okay? You know what a library turn is, right? You put grapples on each of the ceilings here, um, and so that creates a turn like that. You go through like this, okay? Then you have a sloped drop turn, so it looks a little something like this. Um, that's somewhat what the slope drop turn looks like. So you hit onto that slope and keep on going forward. You see a lot of those. Another one that you might see is a um, wall stop with a slope. So it looks something like this. Uh... You actually see this one in older maps, but it can still be used to this day because it still holds true to be one of my favorite turns. I won't lie. Um, it's like this and like this and uh, and you see this one used in maps like Safari Park. Um, and basically, it allows for some very competitive gameplay, depending on the amount of boost and the precision of the player. So, uh, yeah, these, this one is possibly the one that I'd say is the best if you want to spice up your level a little bit. Um, there are other variations of these turns, but those are the three fundamental ones, so I'll just give you those. Um, so, now that we're here, and we, we're going to pick a turn. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a... Um, a variation on a library grapple because they're not used enough anymore because they were overdone for a while and now they're underused. So I'm going to take my ceiling slope and I'm going to drop the entire section. So by doing that I'm actually tightening um, this grapple section so that uh, it takes a little bit more 
precision to keep on track, otherwise it makes the library grab a little bit too OP and a little bit too much of a, of a grapple span. Um, so now that we're here, we're actually going to thin this out a little bit. Now, the reason why we're thinning this out is because we're actually making two quick turns and not just a couple large turns. So it's kind of like what you'd see in Snowden when it, when it used to be uh, actually playable, um, but they ruined that. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually just make a rough layout of what we want the turns to look like. So right here we have um, our walling, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually slope this out a little bit. Comme ça, which means like this in French, uh, if you didn't know plastic. Um, you do that, right? And then we're going to do this. And we're going to move that down a little bit. The reason why we're moving that down is because we actually want to give the player a bit of space to do things. We're going to slope this up, like so. And we're actually going to make a, uh, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a little detachment here, like this, right? And that will create a bit of an offset. So what we're going to do with that, and believe me, it, it, it is relevant, is we're going to actually turn this bit of it right here into a grapple, like so. So now we can really see that the the turn is actually fleshing out as I create it. I'm not fleshing it out on purpose, it's just kind of turning into something as I do it. That's one big mistake I see is people try to have a section in mind while they're making it. You really don't need one. You can just kind of fiddle around with what you know, and eventually you'll create something. Kind of like this. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to finish the outline of this section. And it's uh, it's going to have one... It's going to have... Uh, I don't know if I can make one more sharp turn. So I think we're going to continue going in the same direction, but I might be wrong. So a good method to um, getting things to be how you want them to be is, um, for example, if I was going to really make this section perfect, the only thing I'd change is this. I'd do this, and then, uh, so it's important to look at your section, what you've created, and see what, what you originally planned. This is supposed to be a turn, correct? Now it's turned into a continuation, a downward spiral fall. I still want it to be a turn, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that it still becomes a turn by adding another platform out here and making this hard. This is going to be a hard turn um, with a failsafe. So if you don't understand me, you will in a second. You just need to watch. Um, so we're putting down my wall here, and we're making it go this direction, okay? So we have this right here, this slope, and this slope. And we actually are going to remove this grapple and expand this one slightly. See that? Okay. You might be thinking, where are you going with this? Or maybe you're thinking, oh, I see, I see. It depends on uh, how good you are at map making uh, right now. So, when you're there, once you're here, now we're going to place what makes this section the cat's meow. Okay. Um, we're going to put this right here. That's it. Just a nice little slope. Nice and tall. Um, connect the ground. You know, ground it there. There we go. Boom. Done. That is what's going to make this a big deal. Is this turning. And how how is this going to affect the actual gameplay? Well, you can actually test it. Obviously, there's a playtest button. But you can look. What was your original plan? A turn? Okay. If it was a turn, are you turning? Well, let's look. Yes. I'm going from this side to... From going this to the right to the left. Correct? Yes. Okay. Now, I originally started off with a library turn, yes, but then it turns into a, a slope drop turn at the very end. That's okay. Com combination turns are very, very common and honestly make some of the best maps. Let me point to some. Um, Gracho, can you give me some good combination turns? Uh, can you give me some good, turn some good maps that have some turns in them that are multiple different types of turns? Uh, yeah, like Granary has them, uh, Ben Resort sort of has one, um, but that's more on the upwards, more the live, the more the, the upwards spinning. Um, Abandoned City has some, 
at the at the end there, uh, not the end of the middle point of the map, um, where it goes from one turn to another turn. It's it's it's, it's good. It's it's a good method to do things because that way you're not falling into the trap where everything is the same in the entire level, which is really really common. And it happened in maps like uh, Ocean Slide, uh, which you reference a lot. So I'll give you that one. Uh, it does do that sometimes, but it's still a good map. So now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into play test, and I'm a little bit bad with my keyboard, so forgive me for being complete trash. But we're just gonna go down. Uh, here we are, and now we're at the turn. And the first thing I notice is when you lose speed, the turn's a little bit uh, awkward. So everything's a little bit wide right now, and uh, that's that's always a problem. So because everything's a little bit wide, I'm gonna just move everything down. Let's do that. Move that down. And move that down. And magic. Move this down a little bit. And then the turn actually gets tight enough after that. Or we're going to keep it like that. You following? Hopefully you're following. If you're not, just rewind the video, look through whatever you missed, and come back. Easy mode, right? Okay. This is why it's going to be YouTube. So it's archived forever. So that way, I don't have to deal with... Uh, Trying to, trying to explain it to you every single fucking time. Anyways, um, so we're gonna do this. There we go. So let's try this map. If I could just stop 90. Ah, I missed my second grapple. But you can see how the speed's actually coming together now, uh, with the tighter sections. Um, Hello? Keyboard, register, please. So one thing I've noticed already is that this section is too far away. Uh, so I'm going to actually move this in just a wee bit. Because it is definitely too distanced. There you go. Amazing. Try that again now. I didn't fuck up. There you go. Look at that. Now, you may be thinking, oh, there's only one path or two paths. It seems kind of bad. Well, you are right that there's only one path, but sometimes it's okay to be a little bit simplistic. Um, what happens is if you're simplistic here and you add boxes and stuff, it's just still simplistic. You really are going to want to make sure that when you get into your other sections, there are some tighter sections. And so, Ratro, who you know, is really, really good at tight sections. That's why I usually map make with him. Because um, I'm more of a wide, broad player when, I when it comes to map making. And that's a good thing. There are good and there are bads to both. Um, but, it's okay. Well, we got this. Unless Ratro wants to come and help me out for a minute. I said, unless Ratro wants to come and help me out for a minute. To come help me out? He's in the call. If you want to, you can. You don't have to. Ah, he's farming people. As, as, as per usual. As you should know. So. Now we're here. We've done a lot. Now, a lot of people will continue going through the map, right? And completing the loop by going around again and back up is how I complete the loop. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do, and this is just for sake of experiment, we're going to take this. We're going to move it to the side. Boom. What's that? Boom. Now we got space. Magic. Um, so... What we're going to do is we're not going to make the next section of this. We're actually going to make the beginning of the level. And by that I mean the end. Because the beginning is right here. But it's also going to be right here. Technically. Uh, so the end of the level. Where the momentum that is right here will literally be. Not where it is currently. Uh, so we're going to actually do that. And how we're going to do that? Well, there's always there should always or most of the time be some form of momentum gain right at the end of a level what and when you see certain maps that don't do that um there are certain maps that don't do it maps like um 
uh, City Peaks, um, maps like, um, Safari Park, um, that, as much as they're, uh, uh, ooh, yeah, as much as they're good, they're also, they do dry out, because the momentum that you're given at the end of the level doesn't quite transfer back. Safari Park didn't struggle as much, because there's a very easy chance for momentum almost immediately, plus there's boost. Um, but something like City Peaks did dry out quite quickly in, in the gameplay, because as much as it's great, the ending just does fall flat, um, and um, you don't want that to happen. So a good way to ensure that is to think about the entire level as a group and think of where the momentum comes in from the second lap, not just the first. Um, so when you're making maps, just keep that in mind. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to focus on that right now, focus on this section right here, this area. So my plan for the loop right now is to come, uh, is to go down and up and around. Um, but that's not what I'm actually going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward and loop it like this. Kind of scary doing that though. It's scary to do that because when you do that, the problem that you run into, let's say there's a wall jump right here, going up to the beginning of the level, well, how am I supposed to find speed in this tight spot, right? And that's what we're going to go over. It's the biggest thing, and once I do it here, you'll be able to do it in any spot, because this is the hardest situation to do it in. Uh, so it's going to be really helpful for you. Um, so, right here, I'm actually going to drop this heart to open up, because I want, I want a battle of some sort in this section. So, we've made our turn. We've made our opening, and we've finished, and we've gone, and we've got uh, the next section opening ready. What do we do now? Well, as I said, we're going to go back to the beginning, but how do we think about the beginning? Well, since we know that we want to complete our loop like so, we're going to draw it out. We want to finish our loop like this. So to finish our loop like this, we're actually going to draw it out, and that should give us enough space to create speed, and you're going to see how. So... We don't want to just do a classic staircase going downwards with grapples, right? That's too basic, and it's, it's it's good. It creates speed like it's Subwave, but the problem is it's been done 3,000, 100 million, kajillion, octillion, something number, randoms, skill cap, uh, times. So because of that, um, you don't want to do it again. Plus, it's, it gets boring. It does repeat itself, and you don't want repetition as much, because the game is literally just repeating itself, you don't want it to feel too repetitive. Um, because it's literally just a game about repeating the same thing over and over again. So, you want to make it as variable as possible, correct? Correct. Uh, so, um, why am I confirming my own statements? So, what we're going to do is we're going to add the grapple. The, not the grapple, the wall jump. So, here's our wall jump. That's way too wide. So, there's our wall jump. Why is it curved like a dick at the end? Uh, there's our wall jump. It's still too wide. We'll do that. Look at that. It's a beautiful wall jump. Wouldn't you agree? I hope you agree. Um, so, very adequate. Like, everyone can do that. Uh, so, I'm going to actually do a wall jump battle at the end here. And one side is going to get a boost, a bubble boost. And the other side is going to get... A boost that's going to lead into a library grapple one sequence into the beginning of the level. So, that will create speed and um, allow for iteming and allow for um, people who are behind to actually get ahead by being dicks. So, um, and that's a logistic, that's a little, like a very legitimate thing to do in a level. Um, you see it happen a lot in levels like genetics, um, speed study nights, where genetics there's a lever that if you go through the speed, then you uh, get the go through the speed boost, you get a speed boost all the way to the top. That's one example. Uh, not just they're not just shortcuts, but they are literally just exploiting systems. Speed study nights when you're at the bottom and people can't go top because of that. Um, it's intentional, but also exploits. Um, a system, and it's very annoying, very mean, and no one likes it, but you do it anyways, because you're a jerk. Um, so we're going to do something very similar. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to lead this all into a, into a 
wall jump battle esque set situation. Uh, now, what is that? Well, I'm sure you should know what that is. If you don't, then you need help. Um, but that's why you're here, I guess, um, for help. We're gonna open. <laughs> I am great at comedy, I promise. So, um... Rasho's a triggered boy in Discord. He's like, why are both of you hurting me? Um, so... The derp just died to Rasho. Rasho's better. Rasho appears, in, Rasho appears in my house and stabs me with a knife. Um, he knows where I live. He knows where I live, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, so here we go. Here's a nice little split of the wall jump. Wow. Uh, so now that he's put the wall jump, what are we doing? Where are we going from here? Where, where, where are you now? Ooh, 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 where are you now? Um, so. Is it too late now to say sorry? Uh, Ratchet is a jerk. We already established this, but in the best of ways. So this is a it's a wall jump, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so what I want to do is I actually want to split these sections. So I want this one to go up. Hi, Jake. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the real Jake. You know, Jake Derp. Uh, so look at this. What's this? This this is this is a moment of truth right here. This is when. This really, um, splits up, whoa, he's triggered, so this splits up the good boys from the bad boys, so it splits up me, uh, from you, you can decide whether I'm a good boy or a bad boy, um, wink wink, no, judge, judge, no homo, you, your mom gay, so, no you, uh, I just know you, you know you, that I know you know you, anyways. Uh, on the bottom here, this turn, we're actually going to kind of frick with the world a little bit. This is going to piss some people off, okay? What you're going to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to make, uh, how are we going to do this? We're going to make, uh, I have an idea in my head, I'm just trying to flesh it out. We're going to turn this section into the leading section, okay? Um, but this section is going to get a boost. Uh, and by boost, I mean a bubble boost. Uh, so here's our bubble boost placement, just for now. Uh, we'll put some bubbles in it, because bubble bubble. Bubble 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 There you go. Bubbles. So now I got our bubbles, what am I going to do with this? Well, it's a good question. Not really. Um, we're going to put a grapple right here. Oh, that's not what I have to do. Whatever. Uh, why, why are you so triggered, Retro? Why did you say don't come back? Is he naming you too hard? Uh, okay, yeah, he, he's being a dick. Uh, so, look at this plastic. This is the real OG moment. Uh, this really does separate all the good boys from the bad boys. And you see it happen when this turn turns into literally heaven sent. Uh... And once that happens, well, Charlie's Angel's my ass, so. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, boom. If you don't get what I'm doing, well, that's because it's way too, uh, un it's, it's not, you can't really see what's going on yet, but you will. Uh, and you're actually going to have this slope right here. Jake, why are you making some weird noises in the background? It's not like a whole dog is up your ass. Mm -hmm. Singing talents. 
<laughs> Blake Holmes, no! Rape. 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 Um, also, I'm not really commentating over this section because you kind of have to get the idea of the fact that I'm making a, a library grapple. If you don't, well, uh, you actually need glasses. I mean, your eyes squint, but that's... I thought that was consideration. Uh... Whoops, that's racism. I'm sorry. I love you. No homo. Um, comedy's not my forte. So, yeah, we're gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put this right here. Jacob, why are you moving? This is terrifying. Stop it. Exorcisms aren't allowed in my house. Bad meme. You're a bad meme. So right here, now we're gonna level actually trying to flush itself out, right? So, and, uh, and and there's nothing I can say extra than what I'm saying right now, because when, when you're making a level, it's not it's not about making other people happy, okay? When you're making a level, you want to make yourself happy. Uh, so just stop making a level and beat your dick. So, uh, <laughs> in reality, it is about making a level that you... <laughs> it is about making a level that you enjoy um, a lot. And to do that, you need to look at your personal preferences. Now, for you, I'd recommend staying away from that because you're really bad. Um, but look, look at um... <laughs> uh, Jake said that. That's the background. We need to hear that. That's pretty good. Uh, so look at this section. Um, it's really, really, really rudimentary. Okay. It's not very fundament. It's not, sorry. It's not very fundamentally built uh, up. It's just very uh, settled and easy mode. Gigi no re diva op. So, um, <sighs> random equals funny. If you're f if you're 13 and Asian, uh, I'm not Asian, but you are. Um, people think I am. It's weird. People think that Ryan is black, but he's not. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone in this video beauty thinks Ryan is black, but we don't tell him that because he, he doesn't like them. Uh, whoa. Whoa, Ratcho, that's racist. He said that the guy that taught him how to play was black. It's actually African American. It's it's actually darkly colored in comparison to whites, the the racist majority. You sexist pig. Who's also Islamophobic and racist. Leftists are intelligent. So, um that's sarcasm, if you couldn't tell, guys, in case you missed it. By guys, I mean dirt and plastic. Magic. Now we're here. What have we created? Well, nothing good, but it is done. So, now you have finishing touches. You see all these hard edges? None of them, okay? That's, that's what you don't want, okay? You don't want hard. You want soft and limp. So, um, by that I mean you want curved, uh, you don't want straight lines, you want curves. That's just true to life in most things. Uh, cause straight edges, what's good about them, you know what I'm saying? They're usually white and, uh, <laughs> this has gone, this is taking a turn for the worst. So, now we're just gonna tighten this section down to the wall jump, we really don't want that to be too wide, right? Someone text me on my phone, give me a second, a little... Texting break. Probably someone telling me to stop. Too long. Um, this may be a multiple-parted multiple episode. Uh, we'll see. Now, we've finished this section right here. This is how we're going to get our speed. It's that. Um, and the reason why this is how we're going to get our speed is because of the, the layout we've t taken. If you do a lot, there's a bunch of different layouts that you can see in, like, Ben Resort and stuff that 
rely that that are much easier to create speed for the player. Um, and you can look at those and you can you can use those, but for, but for these, well, I'm going to show you the hardest possible one I could have picked, and now I have speed, and I can go into this section, right? Perfect. It's well done. Easy mode. GG Nori. Have a good life. KMS. Um, and then now we're here. That's also speed right there for you. So that's very useful. It's good to know all that kind of stuff. What's the next step? Connecting this to this. Because right now they're disconnected, right? Uh, there are two ways to go about going this. I could just select this section and drag it over. But I'm not. Because screw that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build in between them. Right? I'd recommend if you aren't experienced just to drag them over because it's a lot easier and it can make some really good maps out of that, okay? But for the moment being, I'm going to build into it. Beautiful. What an amazing section already. What a good map, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah, you do. Uh, but Ratcher doesn't, because he hates his life. Metal fan time. Um, Rat Jacob, can you grab me my metal fan, please? I'm serious. <laughs> it's right there. Ah. Yeah, just grab it and give it to my hands. <laughs> what? Okay. You're not grabbing it. I know. Oh, he's laying on the bed. Hey, you ain't grabbing shit. So, this is going to be a really great experience, what you're about to witness, okay? So, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to expand this into multiple sections, instead of just being this one uh, very basic open area. Which sometimes can be good, right? You need to know when and when not to have open areas, and that comes with time. But for the moment being, we don't want one in this situation. So that's all that you really need to know. And we'll have a different part of the map that is just open area. Particularly like this one right here, this is just open area. It'll have boxes, but it's pretty much just open. And that, that, that can be okay sometimes. So we're here. We don't want this section to be open. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a platform right in the middle here. And you may be wondering, why are you putting a random platform? Well, unlike the random platform that's seen in your levels, it's not just going to be there for the sake of being there. And you often comment on this, um, where you're saying, I just put stuff around just trying to make a level feel uh, like it's not empty. Well, this will really do that, and I can show you how this, this will do that. It's very, very simplistic. So I'm going to put a box right here, and what this is going to do is this is actually going to um, make the top section struggle a little bit more. And the thing about that is the top section is actually going to come in for this slope right here, which is going to make more tantalizing by making larger. Um... And so just like a tight, it's tantalizing. Um, and, uh, yeah, see that? Wow, wow, what a magical thing. So this can send me underneath this and really give me that, that speed. Alternatively, there's now a option of going for objects or items, um, better said. And... People, people do often go for items, uh, especially when we're talking about the higher levels, like uh, right now Ram's participating in King of Speed, things like that. Uh, Derp too, but we don't really consider him uh, a member because you know he's not getting anywhere. So when you look at that, you see the items there. You can make a lot of strats with this section. Now, yeah, you can make a lot of things out of this section. Um, and, uh, this section is very, very broad, right? But I don't, I don't want it to be very confined. I want, I want you to have an idea, um, no idea what to do until you really take it into your own hands and decide to make a section, something out of this section. That's what I want. Uh, so I'm going to leave that up to the imagination, but you can go downwards and back up into this. Hit that slope, grapple, and you can do this. Or you can hit this, or you can go upwards, hit this slope, grapple into this, grapple back up, and then go up, down, and then come through here. 
You can spam grapple over to here. Okay. You can spam grapple over to here. Just the entire time. But that might not be the fastest. So that's that's so far as our section. Now we have all this to fill in, right? That's actually a lot of space. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a box battle. Now they are slow, and they aren't the most common thing anymore as they used to be, but they are extremely good. And that's uh, so what we're gonna do. We're gonna rush, speed, start. So we have all this speed. We don't want to just steal it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some speed, and we're gonna make it feel like you're using it. And to do that, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna do a slope and a grapple, right? And then take out and then steal the grapple away, like that. So now that the grapple's gone, that's 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 it. There should be two paths that split. Okay. Oh, hello. So now that these two spots, hmm, English. Now that these two paths are split, um, we're actually gonna steal the speed now. Um, so, the paths are going to be a box race, and they are fundamentally balanced in their nature, because of the, what we're doing. So we're going to open up the top here, um, just like so. Wow, magic. Uh, just like that. There we go. Easy mode. Balance that out. There you are. So now you have speed. Go top or bottom, but the reward out of top or bottom will be much different. All right, and what we're gonna do is on bottom, it'll be only boxes, easy mode, right? But on top, we're actually gonna have spikes, and the reason why is because when coming out of top, you're gonna actually get a lot of speed compared to bottom, which is just gonna get a regular boost pad. Um, you're gonna get items, you're gonna get items and speed by going on top, and that's important, right? Yeah. Risk and reward is important, right? So when you're working with risk and reward, especially in a game where there's no luck involved, right? It's all skill. You need to make quick decisions, right? When you're, when you're going through a section, you think, am I doing this or that? And when you think, am I doing this or that? If you pick that, we need to know that that will give you what you need to complete the next this or that. So is that speed? Maybe that's speed. Is that boost? Maybe that's boost, right? We'll see. So now we're here. And we're actually going to create the box race now. The box race is going to start with a sliding box. Because coming in here, it'd be too easy to give them a jumping box. So we're just going to give them a sliding box. We're going to really confine the area down. Jacob's humming in the background. Don't fart. Don't fart in my room. Don't fart in my room. Savage. Will the beast ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Did you hear me say will the beast ass, motherfucker? <laughs> Plastic, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so, no, so that's a sliding box right there, um, and that's, that's good, you know, we need some sliding sometimes, uh, cause you don't want the level to be constantly fast, right, you want some tripping out there, um, cause, cause fast is good, but fast is not always good, so that's a slide, boom, easy mode, right, so you're coming in full speed right from there, uh, from here, Right, you're coming in, boom, you're coming, slide. Now that we've done that, we're going to actually go down here, and this is going to be more gradual. So it's going to be a little bit harder, though. We're actually going to have four boxes, or five even, on the ground. Now, if you mess up here, there's a huge risk coming at you. And we're actually going to lower this down. What we're actually going to do is also add a small amount of grapple right there. Uh, and the reason why we're adding that is just, just to give them that edge um, right before they lose all their speed. Because they're going to lose it unless they're uh, the utmost of skilled players. Um, 
like, um, not derp. And, uh, yeah, anyways. So, so, what we're gonna do right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to expand it, but not by that much, just by one box. So now we have this section started, right? That's the beginning of our section, and it may look really, really basic, and to be honest, it is, but what's going to happen here is this going to build in something much larger, which is really that end goal right here, which will lead into this and actually complete the loop. So why, you might, like, the, a good uh, thing to do if you're trying to really figure out map making is, is you might want to ask yourself, why... Do I want to take away people's speed? Don't they want to go fast, right? Well, yeah, you do want to go fast. You do. Like, genetics. The problem is, in genetics, you're doing the same thing. There's no wor worry, no risk, no reward. It's just grapple. And as much as that's fun, it's also not. That's all I have to say. So, now, the next set of boxes will be a jump set. Uh, and coming in f fast, you're going to actually give them a little bit of space right here, so quite quick. Two boxes only. And then we're going to drop again underneath two boxes. Uh, and I know I said I was going to put spikes, and I am. I just wanted to put boxes down to quickly get the idea of where my spikes will be. Uh, it's a lot quicker that way. And this is going to be really finicky, so I might just kind of alter this, you'll see in a second. So, I'm going to actually put this down here. Okay. Um, and there'll be spikes, so they'll be a little bit easier to dodge, dodge right there. Jacob, I see you. So now we have this. Boom, easy mode. And, I'm, and, I, and I want to actually finish the box race right about here. So here's my line. They ca they can't hear you, bud. My friend's talking in the background, thinking that everyone can hear him, but no one can hear you. Not even plastic. Love you. So, no homo. Um, derp gay confirmed. Uh, so what? Oh, derp gay confirmed. He just says, love you too, homo. Uh, so, now I'm here. Um, and what do I do here? Well, this is, this is where things are really going to open up. Oh, because the box race is not done yet, obviously. It's a little bit too short for that. But what we're going to do is we're just going to add one more layer of box racing, but in a different way. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a... Uh, so we're going to put a slope uh, upwards, just a little bit, like that. Platform. And a slope like this, platform. Like so. Boom. And we're going to put a box sliding jump. And they're going to be three across. Like so. And a wah. So there we go. Uh, and I'm put this one right here.
boom. There's a section. Done. That's done. This this part I can open this part up. You you're gonna watch it and you're gonna learn a lot from it, Derp. Uh I literally started the video saying it's bad. No, I'm good at map making, you're not. Ha, <laughs> got him. So now, we're going to do a very, very similar thing here, but we're going to use spikes. Now we're going to put our spikes in, okay. Uh, so that's important to remember. Putting your spikes in now. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'll show you. I'll show you later. Sorry, my friend's talking to me. But that's okay. So now what we're going to do here is now that this is lever leveraged a bit, we're going to put a lot of spikes in the bottom. Uh, it's, not like, it's not a fucking Trump voice or some shit there? I don't know what that was. Uh, there we go. Spiky spicks. Pick my spike. Spick my pick. <laughs> spick my spike. Spike. Spike my spick, um, put some spice, lick my dick. That's a spicy meat ball. Boom, done, easy, good meme. Put this over here. And shorten this. Like so. This like so. And I just want to make this flush just for the looks. Uh, like that. And like this. And we're going to put more spikes to make it look flush. Oh crap. They're all going to have to be. Oh, that should work. Ah, I'm misclicking a lot. Oh my god. Fidgety. There you go. Boom. Flush. Easy, now we're actually going to copy and paste these spikes. Easy mode. Do you see how good I am right now? Yeah, you see it. He knows it. He gets me. He fells me. Look at that. Wow, what a beautiful section. It's not going to be very hard to get out of, but it's fine. The reward won't be that huge. So now that we're here, we're actually going to make this flush because this looks disgusting. Uh, I just realized. Well, not flush completely, but close to flush. Uh, and make kind of like a pyramid top. So kind of like this. Ew, dude. Is it really not going to balance out properly? Ugh. I have to use four boxes on top. Whatever, that works. And this is just going to get shrunk down a little bit. Perfect. Actually, this needs to be a little bit more to the right. Okay, cool. This needs to be a little more to the right. Uh, yeah. Trim. Trim. There you go. Easy mode. There we go. That's your box race. Um, I don't even have to play test it. I know it's gonna work. So there you go. Uh, now you add your reward, which is 
for me, is just going to be a simple uh, slope into a grapple. Now that I've had that slope into a grapple go, uh, right here, boom, slope into a grapple. We're almost at the end of the map, too. And that's easy mode. We've almost done an entire map within the span of like an hour and a half. All recorded for you. Um, and then I'll do objects after. And I'll do checkpoints too, just a little bonus for you. So, there we are. There we are indeed. And what we're going to do is we're going to add boosts, or one boost, not plural, on the uh, bottom. And then, we're going to add one item going through here. So one person gets an item, but only one. That's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do two people here to get an item. Parfait. It means perfect in French. Or how you pronounce it, parfait. The peanut butter parfait. Um, which means which means um, peanut butter parfait, which means perfect. Peanut butter perfect. Like pitch perfect, but peanut butter. Moving on. Um... Now, what we're going to do is we're going to finish the section. And this won't be hard, because this section is not going to be anything too fancy-dancy. It'll be a nice little easy... Uh, so we're going to open it up just a little bit, right here. Um, boom. Right like that. Put this little section, make this into a... Ah, a little thingy jigger, whatever you call it, I don't know what to call it, second path, I guess. Uh, block this. Close that off. And then that we're here. We're going to put a grapple right here. Put another, or I should make this slope a little bit taller. Uh, that's actually kind of awkward, so what we're going to do is make the floor gradually get a little bit larger. So right when this gets taller, this will get larger. Um, and boom. There you go. Um, that section, I just need to add some boxes throughout the level. Uh, some boost in some areas, like right here. We'll have a boost. And uh, right here we'll have a grapple. And right here as well. Boom. Um, so it's a really tall wall jump that splits. That's why it's actually okay to have such a tall wall jump. Um, and now we're just going to add some boxes. Time to do that. So I'm going to actually turn my DPI down a lot so I can actually place the boxes with some precision. some boxes strategically not to be too annoying but also not to be too easy to dodge uh, put a box floor right here okay whoever's screeching can you stop I know I know who it is I just want to be polite Okay, it's almost done. Boom. Boom, put this in here. And then I'll put it one tile in. Subdued, there you go. Now I'm gonna take all these boxes that I just placed here, copy and paste them down to here. And then split them in half and cut some of them off because none of them need, no one needs them. There you go, boom, easy mode. Now I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna copy and paste, and then I'm gonna move them both over to here, easy mode. And then boom, put this right here. And last but not least, definitely not least because the section needs the most, 
put my boxes along here. Uh, no. So, done, basically, but uh, this section doesn't really need boxes because of how quick and tight it is, but put one right here. One or two like that, the very edge, never hurts, just to add some flair to the level, and then right along here, we're going to need some boxes in this region here, so definitely a bunch back here how I like to do it, which is like this. Uh, because there's no point in letting a swag happen there because it's really not going to be very cool. Because it'll just make you look like a noob who thinks that swag is going backwards. So there you go. That's that's how I would do this level. If it were, uh, if it were mine, which it is. Uh, and I think, honestly... I give this like a seven or six to six to eight out of ten in my personal opinion, just as far as my own levels go. I think it's all right. I don't think it's anything special. I don't think it's like the worst thing I've ever created in my life. Uh, I think it's just just bearable. And we're going to actually checkpoint now, just for a little bonus. So put this right here. His start point is helper false. Who left, by the way? So here's our checkpointing. It's going to be very, very simplistic. We're just going to go in like the, the same section, uh, same direction the, se the actual sections go. Not very difficult. It should come intuitively. If it doesn't, then just watch the section over and over again as I do it. Eventually it'll come to you, I'm sure. It shouldn't take long. Uh, and we're just going to... Uh, hmm... One thing about these checkpoints is they're going to be actually kind of semi-difficult, to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this one and meet here instead. Or yeah, I think that's just going to have to happen. And if that happens, well, then the, it's going to have to go all the way. So like that. So this, this one you can see is useless by these weird gradient things. Get rid of that. Just cut that off actually right there. And we can just do this all the way across. And that's really just going to fix all our gradient issues just right off the bat. No problem. Um, this is unneeded. So get rid of that. No, no biggie. Um, we're actually going to want to helper checkpoint right here just to do this uh, like that nice and simple and easy like that and then one right here just to connect to here clear all those up and then another one to this one boom that's web checkpointing for you if you've ever been intrigued by it uh, which I'm sure you haven't because who the fuck is intrigued by checkpoints um, if you are you need help um, there you go. Simple. There's your checkpointing. Done. And, uh, yeah, just fill the other side of the map and you're done. I guess I should add some boost pads and objects, though, uh, in spots where I missed. So, I'd say I'd put a boost pad, uh, down here. No, up here. 
uh, on the edge. Put objects right here. And uh, then I put uh, an object right, or no, I put a boost right here. Yeah, and I put one right, an object right here just to be a jerk. For sure. Uh, and yeah, that's what I do. So, derp, or not derp, sorry, plastic. When you're done watching this, tell me if you like this level. I will make it into a real level. If you don't like it, um, I'll trash it. But overall, this that I hope that commentary kind of helps you out a little bit and how to make a level. Um, even if it's not the best level that came out of it, I think it's okay. Um, it will show you some of the things that are kind of, uh, important when making a map. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this worked. If it didn't, hit me up again. I can talk to you, go over something, but yeah, this should work. All right, cool. Goodbye.